to Heart is offering you what we are calling a few-minute warming. These inspirational words may be just what you need to change the outcome of your life. Join us for a warming to fill your heart. How do we experience the Lord's presence within us? How do we receive these gifts of the Spirit, His wisdom, His fortitude, His counsel? How do we grow in God's gift of inner peace? I would like to answer it by sharing one of the most marvelous stories that was shared with me several months ago by Admiral Jeremiah Denton as he spoke at the Catholic Men's Conference here in Cincinnati, Ohio. Admiral Jeremiah Denton, you may know, served 31 years in the United States Navy following graduation from the Naval Academy. And he was awarded 16 decorations, including the Navy Cross, three silver stars, five bronze stars, and two purple hearts. He served two terms as a U.S. Senator from Alabama and established the Denton Program that shipped millions of pounds of humanitarian aid to the underprivileged around the world. During his time serving in the Navy during the Vietnam War, Admiral Denton was flying a Navy aircraft, and the North Vietnamese shot down his plane. He survived the plane crash, but he was taken as a prisoner of war by the North Vietnamese soldiers and was held in prison there seven years and seven months. More than half of that time, he spent in solitary captivity, that is, four and a half years. He was forced to spend in solitary confinement. He is one of only five Americans to be held for that length of time in this kind of solitary confinement. And during those seven and a half years he, he spent in solitary captivity, or rather in captivity, his North Vietnamese captors continually tortured him. Once, the North Vietnamese soldiers forced him to appear before television cameras and tell the whole world that his captors were treating him kindly. During the TV interview, while speaking what he was forced to say under the threat of death, Admiral Denton had the presence of mind to communicate another message in Morse code by blinking his eyes, spelling torture many times over. The U.S. military intelligence fortunately was able to decipher this message on television. And during his imprisonment, Admiral Denton said the only thing that kept him from death, despair, or complete insanity, and that was his faith and his prayer. In one particularly long and painful session of tortures, Denton said that it was at that point he surrendered his life completely to God. He wrote later in his book, As soon as I surrendered my life to God, I felt as if someone had put a warm blanket around me. The pain completely disappeared, and I was able to smile at my captors. When the prison... Uh, commander noticed this, he ordered a young soldier to go into the torture chamber and, quote, make him break down, even if you have to break every bone in his body. Well, the soldier re entered Denton's torture chamber, looking at his glowing and loving face, and broke down in tears himself. He ran out of the cell, and the young soldier told his commander that he could not carry out his orders. They relented and unshackled him and then carried him back to his prison cell. Isn't that incredible? As horrendous as his experience was in Vietnam prison camp, Denton said that he was shocked when he returned to the United States of America to the changing culture 
that rejected the traditional values and morals that he had embraced. He referred to this as, quote, the new morality, unquote, which really is, quote, the old immorality, unquote. He said, we've got to save this country and restore it to be what it once was, that is to say, one nation under God. When he gave this address and shared this message with the man attending the Catholic Men's Conference, everyone in the auditorium, nearly 10,000 men, immediately and spontaneously stood up to give him a standing ovation. It was so powerful. It was as if the Lord, or should I say, the Spirit of the Lord was speaking to us a message that we needed to hear, a message that gripped our hearts in a way that we had never expected. We thank you for accessing the Heart to Heart app. Please return again to hear inspiration that may make you laugh or even cry, but most importantly, bring you closer to your Savior, Jesus Christ.